<laughs> Good morning, class. Today we will be talking about the circa pump. The circa pump is a type of P-type ATPase, which are a large family of ATP-dependent pumps. It is a membrane-bound pump that is found in the sarcoplasmic reticulum of the skeletal muscle. It is used to maintain a low calcium concentration in the cytosol. This is an overview of the reaction cycle for ATP-dependent transport of calcium into the SR by the circa pump. Now for the overall process. Step one includes the occlusion of two calcium ions within the pump this allows binding of a phosphate to change the conformation from E2 ATP to E1P of the circuit pump. In step two, the release of the calcium ions allows binding of hydrogen ions to the pump. This changes the conformation to E2P. In step three, the occlusion of the two hydrogen ions closes the pump and uses energy derived from ATP. In the final step of the process, the release of the hydrogen ions and the phosphate returns the pump to its original E2 ATP conformation so that the process can restart. Original E2 ATP confirmation. So, <laughs> Good morning, class used to maintain a low calcium concentration in the cytosol. Got that? No, no, no. Listen, I'll be over soon. Just be a good cat. Maybe the dog is better.